we ordered a meat and cheese platter and it came with salmon, we had salami, olives, cheese, and bread. Castles are always such a magical thing. Sammy and Tommy, and we just finished an incredible road trip through Croatia. We fell in love with its charming villages, historic sites, and breathtaking views. Now we are ready to start a brand new adventure in the country of Slovenia. All right, what's up you guys? Today we left Croatia and we are in the new country of Slovenia. We are super psyched. We drove from Perek and we're staying just north of Ljubljana. It's such a cool place. It's like a little cabin, a little outside north of the city. Come check it out. So it's just this little cabin. Oh, there's an outside shower, which is actually really nice, and a bathroom on the other side. Some sun lounge chairs. This whole picnic area, which is really cool. And there's plug-ins outside, so we actually do work while enjoying this beautiful weather. A pizza oven, which is sweet. We probably won't use it, so we're only here for a couple nights. We got this whole field out in front of us. We're gonna have our own space. It's pretty killer. We are psyched to be here. Chickens are so big and fluffy, like you can tell they're pets, like the, this family loves them. head into the capital of Ljubljana. Check it out, check out the old town. We're really excited for the food here too. Yes, time to go explore the city. All right, so we just walked across Dragon Bridge. It's so cool, there's a dragon in every corner. Our first stop here. We've already walked by some graffiti. We heard there's a ton in this town. And they actually have a tour too, which looks pretty cool, but we don't have the time to do that. Looks like we found the market. Clothes, veggies, flowers over there. It's kind of big though, right? It's really big. I guess a lot of the farmers come in here and bring their goods every day, which is kind of cool. more of a morning market than an evening market because it's like only flowers left really. It said clothes for tourists today. Really? Yeah. Tommy really wanted to go inside the cathedral. So we are in the middle of the town square here. It is a lot busier than other places we've been, but the buildings are so cool. So it's made from Baroque architecture. So another cool thing about the old town is there's no cars allowed. So it's all just pedestrian only. It's just nice walking and everybody uses bikes here. Everywhere you look, there's a bunch of bikes just lined up. And we forgot to tell you, but it's supposed to be one of the greenest cities in the world. The country of Sylvania by themselves is super green. And this is the greenest capital, which is awesome. Great, where are we off to next, Tommy? I believe the other square. The other main square. <laughs> I don't know what the name is. <laughs> getting lost in the old town. Yeah, getting lost in the old town. I do think it's time for a beer pretty soon, though. They do have awesome craft beer here. Beer here? Beer here. <laughs> and this is called Triple Bridge. So it started as one bridge down the middle, 
but there was so much pedestrian traffic that they had to make two more. So this square behind me is actually called Brasserian Square and it's actually named after Slovenia's most famous poet and that statue behind me is him. He has his own square. This is the spot. Going to local. Alright, so what do we got here, Sammy? Okay, so we ordered a meat and cheese platter and it came with Hamon, which I mean we're so close to Italy and there's such like an Italian influence in the food here. So we have Hamon, we have salami, olives, cheese, and bread. The perfect little lunch. So I'm going in for the salami and the cheese first. Mm. The salami has like peppercorns in it. It is so good. It has like such a peppery taste to it. And the cheese. It's like Swiss, Gouda, some hard cheese. It's delicious. I love it. I love cheese. All right, so one of the reasons we stopped to get a beer here, Rubiana is known for their micro brews. The local brewing really picked up recently, so there's a bunch of different brewers to try, so this won't be our only stop getting some beer on this trip. I felt like I read online that it started in the 15th century. They started micro brewing here. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy, but you think about it, anybody who's making beer would be microbrewing back then, right? Yeah. Because there wasn't like big... Well, I read 15th century and I was like, whoa, that's so long. Yeah, think about the old ale and stuff they used to make. Yeah. Well, they have a good beer scene here. Yeah. I'm excited to try more. So we just finished our delicious beers and now we are hiking up to the castle. So we were thinking about paying, there's a cool little like a... Uh, Funicular, so I had to Google what it was. It's like a tram, <laughs> train, trolley that brings you like straight up the hill so you don't have to walk, but it's 10 euros. Yeah, it costs 10 euros and that includes your ticket into the castle and I think... We're just we gonna can, go walk up for free. Yeah, we can just walk around the grounds for free, not actually go in the castle. We need to hike off those beers anyway. That's for sure. <laughs> and that way I can have another one later too. <laughs> All right, so we thought this was really weird. We read about this online. It like sells local yogurt and local milk from like farms in the area. It's just so weird that a vending machine has, has like fresh. fresh cheese and milk. Well, we're not <laughs> getting one because we just had beer, but it's very cool. Okay, and so at this vending machine, you just get the bottle and then you fill it up with fresh milk. Look at how cute this street is. It is pretty steep. I regret not getting the little ride, but... Funicular. It's gonna be fun. Funicular, yeah, true. Come on, Tommy, catch up. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> get rained on. Funicular. Way better. Funicular. They got to ride up. We got to walk up. All right, we made the hike up. We <laughs> are gonna walk around the castle now. There's some awesome views overlooking all of Ljubljana. you guys but castles are always such a magical thing we walked around the entire perimeter it's the views up here are just so good it is about to pour down rainy it's been sprinkling the whole time but we need to go get an umbrella or find shelter because there's a lightning in the distance and I'm scared of lightning <laughs> so we need to go down we're going down a different path than the one we went up and it's so much steeper Got my umbrella. We got caught in the storm, guys. It's just pouring down rain outside, so we're standing in the pharmacy doorway, waiting for it to stop raining. Uh, 
have great views around the city. So there is the castle we were just at. Now we're on top of this skyscraper. It's still raining, but it's fine. It's beautiful views up here. All of the tables were taken at the cafe and then outside just like very wet. So we're gonna go find a coffee somewhere dry. We tried to get in this church earlier, but it was closed during the middle of the day. So we're hoping it's open now. We can go check it out inside. All right, that's a very cool church. Reminds me of France and Italy a little bit, right? Oh yeah, for sure. The All gorgeous the... paintings everywhere. Yeah, around. the frescoes. Go! It's almost six already, which is early for dinner for most people around here. But for us, that is dinner time. <laughs> We looked at this place online, it's called Second Violin. It's supposed to be awesome, authentic Slovenian food. We found the restaurant and it's so cute. The little minis are shaped like violins. We didn't realize they had like daily specials. Every day of the week they have like a different menu. So they have four options for today and we chose drumsticks and the stew. It's ice cold. <laughs> That's a lot of bread. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like French bread and cornbread mixed together. It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. I know, it's delicious, but we gotta save some for this too. I don't think we'll run out. We have like a bag of bricks. It's so heavy with bread. <laughs> After a great day of exploring Ljubljana, I think we're gonna call it. We had a pretty good dinner. It was cheap. The wine, each glass of wine was one euro, so I'll take that any day of the week. Heck yeah. But I love this capital city. It exceeded my expectations. I love the architecture, all the colors, and the people here in Slovenia are super friendly. That's it for today. We'll see you guys in the morning. And I think it's cold too. It feels pretty cold, but no, they still have their milk warm here. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know if like inside of oh, I guess vending machines cold drinks are cold in vending machines. Okay, well we're not getting one because we just had beer. We went up and saw the view, and now we are. <gasps> Sammy's already taking a break. It looks like, and it's a little too early for that still. <laughs> I don't want to go. He has his own square. Fun fact, strong. I hate that you can't see how steep something is in the camera. Like, how do you show that, like, relativeness, Tommy? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Okay, look at that. That grade right there. It's like that. That's how steep it is. <laughs> show us, Tommy. Look at that grade. <laughs> 